Lincoln said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. No matter our differences, we must always remember and stand by the common bond that unites us. Above all, I've aspired to treat all members of our party fairly and with respect. From my experience, that goes a long way toward fielding a strong, united GOP team. I've enjoyed and appreciated working with each and every one of you and other Republicans throughout Idaho. I have the opportunity to serve as a member of the Republican National Committee and for a time as the RNC's General Counsel and Western Region Budget Committee member. Thank you for that rare and special opportunity. All good things come to an end. For me, that time is now. I pass the Chairman's gavel to my successor, confident in the knowledge that we have done what we set out to do and that our party is stronger for it. I want to thank the state officers that I have served with, our entire executive committee, our county and district chairman, our elected GOP officials, and our great staff and volunteers. I particularly want to thank my executive director of the last three and a half years, my partner in all this, Jonathan Parker. Most of all, though, we want to thank you on behalf of the entire Republican leadership team for all that you have done and that you continue to do for our grand old party. I wish our new leadership well and know the great things lie ahead for our party, our state, and our nation. Let us resolve to begin by making Barack Obama a one-term president. Thank you, God bless, and best wishes for the 2012 election and beyond. Thank you. So one of the things that uh, we re-implemented, uh, when I first came in as a chairman, I tried to talk to as many of the past chairmen as I could, uh, and in talking with Blake Hall, he reminded me about the Five Star Award that had been started many years ago, and we re-implemented that. We changed the criteria a little bit, but basically every county of the 44 counties that meets this criteria receives the Five Star Award. So who can help me out with what the five criteria are? Fill all of the precinct spots in your county. Quota. Satisfying quota with the state party. It's not a bill. It's not an invoice. We work it out county to county, and we've had a lot of great cooperative arrangements over the last four years on that one. Fill all your state legislative seats. Wow, 104 out of 105. There's room for improvement, though, for the next chairman. We can do 105. Hold or participate in a Lincoln Day. And I know, I put on a few pounds, we are doing a good job on that one. And then finally, uh, filling all of the county uh, office seats in your county to make sure that folks are running for all of those. So we have 22 counties that filled that two years ago, and this year we have 24 counties. So congratulations. <laughs> And as a special treat for those counties, we're very privileged today to have our United States Senator Jim Risch with us to help hand out those awards to the counties. Senator? chair or uh, chairman of your delegation come forward and receive the award. The first chairman's five star award, star award goes to Jim County. Jim County. Come on up.
The next five star award goes to Idaho County. Idaho County paying quota. Yeah. They're not in alphabetical order, so there'll be some suspense involved here. The next five star award recipient is Canyon County. <laughs> this recipient has a really, really good job. <laughs> From all the way across the river, Jerome County, five star award. Madison County, five star award, which is Now, being involved with the water users for 20 years, these two had to go together. So, Fremont County. We'd like to recognize Bonneville County with a five-star award. Next five store award recipient is Benawa County. Next recipient is Bear Lake County. Dennis Turner, chairman, and they get the award for their earliest Lincoln Day at 7 a.m. in the morning at Montpelier. That's a good time after dinner, usually in Pocatello the night before. Next recipient is Bannock County.
We've come a long way. Look at the legislators they're elected. Look at the county commissioners they're elected. Here comes a future legislator now. Shoshone County is a five-star recipient. That's okay. Now I know when I was growing up in Kootenai County, there were a few Democrats in Shoshone County. That county has changed a lot. And I won't be as many this time. <laughs> so big they had to turn it into a dinner and move it to a much bigger location and it's still not big enough. You guys are doing a great job. And the next recipient is Boise County. first time I talked to John, not only did we not know what quota was, we didn't have any idea how the heck we were going to hold events, and now they've got events all over the county, and they're just doing a fabulous job in Boise County. The next recipient is Nez Perce County. Nespers was the home of one of our legislative pickups last time, and I suspect we'll get another one this time out of Nespers County. <laughs> Next recipient is Valley County. Valley County. is a little place called Twin Falls County. You know, you can get one of these things by volunteering to host the convention. <laughs> the next chairman's five-star award goes to Elmore County. Barry and those folks have fun meetings in Mount Home. The next five star award goes to Jefferson County. last primary 60 something percent or 
think it was really high. Yeah, well, that's 67 percent of 500 is pretty good. Washington County. I don't know about the rest of the folks that go to all the Lincoln days, but they're my vote for the best food. The prime rib, the pie, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, they're pretty good. Hawaii County. Francis is one of those people you don't have to worry about calling when you don't know what you're doing because she'll let you know. 